hello what's up guys uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to enable windowed mode in StarCraft 1 or StarCraft Brood War. I understand not a lot of people play these games anymore um, but there are some people out there who play them and I just recently reinstalled and I wanted to get it in windowed mode I just really didn't want to play in full screen it was all stretched and I didn't like the hassle of constantly minimizing this but I didn't know about this program, but and it was very very hard to find, um, considering it's a old program for an old game, and there's a lot of dead links out there and stuff like that. So, but finally I found it, and it was on Team Liquid, but there was so many dead links and so many threads and posts about it. There was, I think there was like 60 some pages on one thread, and just full of posts talking about it, but I couldn't find a link. But I finally uh, tracked it down. It's called the Chaos Launcher. And I'll put the link um, in my description, and uh, if I have to, I'll upload it myself. But Chaos Launcher, it's relatively simple. You don't really have to install it. Here it is right here. Downloaded it, and uh, it's just a WinRAR file or a zip file, and you just extract it into this folder. And I have the folder opened up right here. Um, just select the EXE like this and a uh, pretty simple window. I don't really mess with any of the tool settings um, and a lot of the plugins I don't even turn on. They do have a couple of cool features like um, APM alert alerts you when uh, with a sound when your APM falls between or falls below a certain level. Uh, I guess this would be really concerning uh, to have on if you are a pro or if you're Korean. <laughs> But yeah, I don't even have that enabled, but if you're into that, that's pretty cool. Um, I have this turned on. Uh, it's not necessary. It's um, basically features like uh, auto replay, friend follow, chat save, disable win keys and caps lock. I'm not so sure if I like the caps lock option because if you want to talk trash, pretty sure you need that enabled. <laughs> but um, here we go, W mode 1.02. Uh, this is the whole point of getting it, at least for me. Um, yeah, to be able to enable windowed mode in the original StarCraft and Brood War. So you just make sure you have that checked. I, I believe by default it does not have that checked, so <laughs> make sure that's enabled. And then it's as simple as, you know, if you have the game installed, obviously, uh, you just hit start. And, um,. Yeah, just wait for my ancient technology here, here to load up. Okay, there it is, StarCraft Brood War, and as you can see, um, it may be a little small on the uh, video, but here it is in windowed mode. It's kind of cool, um, and as you can see, uh, the game is working. Um, and yeah, quick, quick little note. Uh, for some reason, I would test it and show you on Battle.net, but uh, for some reason, it does not work when I'm recording. But as soon as I turn the recording off on Cam Studio, it works. I'll demonstrate right now. Oh wow, it's working this time. I would have to say like, like 95% of the time it was not working before. But I'll go ahead and log in to my fake little account here. Um, I'll go ahead and create a game. Um, and we'll just put it up against the computer. Um, we'll just see how bad I am temporarily. But yeah, there's a lot of cool little features up here on the uh, on the bar up at the top. And yeah, as you can see, it's pretty cool. Um, you can't hear the sound because I have it disabled. Um, and as you can see, here's one of the problems. You can, um, I don't know if you can see the cursor, but I am able to move in and out of the, um, the window, and, you know, that's pretty, that's a pretty big deal if you want to use the mouse in game to scroll around. Obviously, I can use the arrow keys, but, um, if you really want to use the hotkeys, um, you do not want your hand on the arrow keys, but, um, a cool solve for that is right up here in the top. Um, you simply hit uh, this little icon here. It's the same icon as the mouse uh, cursor, by the way, in game. You just hit that, and as you can see, it locks your cursor within the confines of the window, so it's very constricting. So you can't just move the mouse uh, off the window 
itself. It's pretty cool. So that's the main uh, icon on the left. The problem with this setting is that I don't know how to hit the button um, once you've locked it within the confines of the window because it does not go up to the bar. So I have to control the delete because I do not know the hotkey. So you hit that. The next one I really don't like. Um, it's uh, It doubles the size of the screen. I'll demonstrate that right now. Take a second to load, and it just it stretches it, and it doesn't really look all that great. But if you really want to play like that, that's fine by me. Here again, I do not ha know um, how to get up there into the uh, bar to go and check uh, the option to turn it off. So I know the hotkey. It's Alt F9, and uh, there it is, back in windowed mode in the smaller view. Uh, this option is really really cool too. Um, it starts out enabled and it allows you to move the window around. So you know if you're if you're talking to your friend Billy on on IM, you can just be like, "Hi, my name is Bob. I love you, Billy." And he's just you know, Bob's just like, you know, Bob's like, "Yo, I love you too." Now, if you want to go right back to the game and lock the window, um. You can just move it back into place and lock it. So now you cannot move the window around, so it's stationary. It's pretty cool if you're, I guess, you're gaming hardcore. By the way, I don't know where that Billy story came from. I, it's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, if if you afraid you're going to accidentally move the window, or if you just don't want to move it at all and you like the position on the desktop that it's in, uh, it's fine. Just hit that button. Um. Or at least turn it off, make it in red, so you don't enable it. Uh, this window is pretty cool, or this uh, little tab. Hit it, it's an up arrow. Um, if you hit that, uh, as you can see, I can move programs over into it. Or, or just Windows itself, like this Billy Convo. Okay, so I want... Um, it's like I want to chat over lapping this, or the program itself. As you can see, I can just put stuff all over in front of this but maybe I don't want that maybe I want the game uh, completely in the foreground um, so no programs can overlap it you just hit this and as you can see it's no longer doing that so it's always in the front um and I really like that option uh, and obviously the two on the right minimize and uh, X as for exit but uh, yeah, that pretty much explains everything. Uh, hope it, um, hope you like it. Um, and yeah, it really helped me out, even though I don't really play this game anymore. But uh, it's pretty cool to have. The bad thing is I'm a few years late on this game. Uh, but yep, pretty cool little neat option. And uh, if you're going to record, I guess. With uh, with the game, I would just recommend starting after uh, you've got into Battle.net. But you know, I got lucky that time, but uh, I wouldn't guarantee it because I tried this many times earlier, and it turned out to be my recording software, which is Cam Studio, at least for this tutorial. But yeah, I hope that helped, and uh, I'm all done here. Uh, you can all you know experiment if you. If you would like, but uh, yep, I'm all done. Hope it works. Hope you have fun. Game on.